everyone, my name's Jo and I'm an experience officer here at Science Space in Wollongong. Now, a few days ago, we got a really good question from a couple of Year 5 students from Jerangong Public School. They wanted to know what happens when we add something really, really hot to something really cold. Actually, when they sent us the email, they wanted to know what happens when you add fire to liquid nitrogen. Now, because we have access to liquid nitrogen here at Science Space, I thought, Let's give it a go. So I've got my safety glasses, I'm gonna head downstairs and I'm gonna grab some liquid nitrogen and I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna see what happens. The air we breathe is about 78% nitrogen. At room temperature, nitrogen molecules have heaps of energy, so they move around a whole bunch and exist as a gas. Liquid nitrogen is exactly how it sounds. Nitrogen, that's a liquid. But to get it to be a liquid, we have to cool it down and cool it down a lot. The colder something gets, the less energy it has and molecules of the thing tend to huddle together a bit more. When we cool nitrogen down to minus 196 degrees Celsius, the gas condenses to form a liquid. All right, so let's think about the first question. Fire needs three things to burn, heat, fuel, and oxygen. We call this the fire triangle. If you take away one of those corners, the triangle falls apart and there's no fire. So we have fire, now we just need one more thing. Pouring liquid nitrogen onto a flame does two things. First, it cools everything down, so we take away heat. And second, the nitrogen pushes away all the oxygen in the atmosphere that the fire needed to burn. I mean, really, it's exactly like pouring water onto a flame. So I guess if you take away the heat and the oxygen from a fire, the fire just goes out. Huh. I think the reason you asked this question, what happens when you add fire to liquid nitrogen, what you really wanted to know was what happens if you add something really hot to something super duper cold. So, we're gonna try something else. Oh, and I, I think this goes without saying guys, but um, ha, don't try this at home. When liquid nitrogen turns from a liquid to a gas, it expands. Gases have a whole bunch more energy, remember, plus they really like to take up as much space as they can. When liquid nitrogen heats up, it expands up to 600 times its original volume. That's a lot of space. If you can keep liquid nitrogen cold, this usually happens really slowly. But we're going to speed it up by dumping a whole bunch of boiling hot water on top of it. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius, so that's a temperature difference of almost 300 degrees. The air above the bin is filled with a whole bunch of water in the form of water vapor. So we've got liquid nitrogen getting vaporized in an expanding super cold cloud, hitting all of that water vapor. And when water vapor cools down, we get clouds. So that's what happens when you add something super, super hot to something really, really cold. Thank you so much for your question, Jerangong Public School. It was so much fun to answer it and to figure it out. And guys, if you have any other questions or anything you're really curious about, please feel free to leave a comment below and ask. We really love investigating, we love science, and we love asking people if we don't know the answer. So leave your comments and questions below, and hopefully you'll see this again. Bye.